Today we're cutting open a classic comfy shoe, one of the most iconic shoes in the world that also happens to be my dad's favorite shoe, the Adidas Superstar. Now let's go over the shoe information. So the brand is Adidas, the style is the Superstars. The colorway I got is the classic cloud white, core black and cloud white. They weigh just under a pound. They retail for $85, though you can usually find them for a lot cheaper, especially on like Amazon and they are made in Indonesia. And the story behind these shoes is kind of interesting because most people know these as like the Run DMC shoe. But they actually have their origins back in the late 60s and early 70s when they were designed to replace the classic Converse canvas basketball shoes to be one of the very first leather basketball shoes in existence. And they kind of took over the basketball world and quickly almost put Converse out of business and basically became the shoe of choice for most basketball players in the 70s. And then in the 80s, they had that strong resurgence because of Run DMC, which really rocketed these shoes into superstardom, pardon the pun, and made these the iconic shoes that you've seen. And they've basically been popular ever since in every colorway imaginable, every collaboration possible, and even down to my dad wearing these basically nonstop all growing up. And if you want to see a really good history of these shoes, check out Nacho average finds video on these because it's pretty informative. So now let's go over the information that we can gather about these shoes before cutting them in half, starting with the leather as always. So this is clearly a chrome tan leather. You can tell that by the bluing in the cross section here. And it says it's a full grain leather. And so I doubt it's a real full grain. It's probably more of a top grain because usually this style of leather with a really even finish on top, they usually buff it down to get rid of any imperfections and then put the finish on top. So my guess is, is that it's actually a top grain leather, which isn't that big of a difference. So the best way to tell if it even has a grain is to do this little bend test where we bend it and cut a little cross section out. And as you can see, we can see the little uh, pores and hair follicles in there, which show, which tells us that it is a full grain or top grain leather, which is a high, higher quality leather than a suede, which is going to last longer. So it's pretty decent leather. Is it super high quality leather? Probably not just because of the scale that it's produced and that it's um, an $85 sneaker, but it is leather. And I think the majority of this is leather. It doesn't feel like the tongue is leather. A lot of times they do the tongues out of a fake leather. And if you look at these little black stripes and this back piece here with the Adidas logo on it, these are fake leather. And you can tell that by just flipping up the edge and looking underneath and you can see that it's kind of a matted material. It looks kind of like felt, that's not leather. And then to the lining on the inside. So the thing I really like about these is how minimal the lining is. Cause I, I don't like really warm shoes and boots. So to have just the skeleton lining on the inside, just at the, the uh, heel of your foot, and then having a very minimal lining on the inside is what I like to see anyway. So not much of a lining, but that's a positive to me. And it's just a fabric liner, you know, and then it looks like the rest of it's just a backing on the leather to kind of help reinforce it and, and prevent from overstretching or premature wear. And then to the insert, pull this out. It's just a cheap EVA foam insert, nothing special. It's removable to some degree. And that's always a, a bonus for people who have custom orthotics or just want a little bit more squish underneath their foot. And then onto the construction. So this is a cup. This is kind of an interesting construction because it's a cup sole, but then the toe, this is that, that world famous shell toe is also kind of sidewall stitched on. And then on the inside, we can see a strobel stitch to that what looks like a foam midsole. So pretty solid construction. And then the midsole is a foam midsole and it feels like it's pretty thick. And what's interesting is, you know, this insert is a really cheap open celled, big celled EVA foam, but this midsole feels like a pretty high quality PU foam. It's kind of has that, that spring and rebound of a memory foam type foam. So that's probably part of why it's so comfortable. I'm really interested to see how thick this actually is and what the structure of the sole is on the inside. So really not much to this shoe. It's a pretty basic shoe. Um, there might be a few surprises on the inside. So I guess that leads us to the next portion of the video. So let's cut this thing in half. Honey is a free browser extension that automatically applies promo codes to your car at checkout to save you a little bit of money. And it feels like all the shopping that we do currently is all online. So just being able to save a few dollars here and there really starts to add up. 
And that's kind of where Honey comes in. And it's, it's really easy to install, it's really easy to work. So how does it work? As you can see here, I'm on finishline.com. I added some Jordans to the cart. And then when I reach checkout, Honey pops up in the corner and all I have to do is click apply coupons. And as you can see, it's trying a bunch of different ones and a few of them actually worked. And so it just chose the best discount code to apply. And Honey ended up finding me a $15 discount code. Price dropped a pretty good amount. So I ended up saving a pretty decent amount of money just by using this little free extension. And in addition to Finish Line, Honey supports over 30,000 online sites from tech to gaming to apparel. And Honey has found it's over 17 million members, $2 billion in saving. So just take a few minutes and install Honey. It literally is just two clicks. It's super easy to install and it's easy to use. It uh, basically runs itself half the time. So if you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It's free, it works, it saves you a little bit of money. So get Honey today for free by going to joinhoney.com slash Roseanneville. And thanks again to Honey for sponsoring this video. Okay, I got this thing cut in half. Let's see what's inside. Look how thick this foam is. No wonder these things are so comfortable. I thought for sure that it was maybe like this thick at the heel, but and that maybe the heel was more structured like the Stan Smith where you have these cells on the inside all the way across the heel. But all that comfort comes from this big fat memory foam type foam at your heel. That makes a lot of sense. It makes me wonder what the vintage ones, how they were built. I, I'm guessing they're more built like this. So maybe I'll, I'll find a pair of old ones and cut them in half so we can compare, we can compare like the 70s or even like 80s versions to the more current ver versions because this is this foam feels like it's not, it's more modern foam, less like this open cell foam. But it is interesting that it, ha it still has that cell structure that you see in most cup soles at the edge of the cup sole. And I think that's probably to give it a little bit more stability and cup your sole a little bit better rather than just having a big chunk of foam there. You also have that, that, sh that lattice structure that helps prevent the shoe from being too wobbly and unstable is my guess. But overall, it's a pretty simple shoe. You literally just have that cup sole outsole, which is a little bit thinner than I expected. You know, a lot of these big brand sneakers have pretty thin soles and that's always what wears out first. And then it goes up to that big layer of foam that's strobel stitched to the upper. Then we got that skeleton lining just around the heel. You can kind of see better now that reinforcement behind there. And then the foam and rubber counter and the leather upper, and that's pretty much all there is to it. As for the thickness of, of the leather, the thickness is right around 1.5 to 1.6, so pretty decent thickness. It's not the thickest leather in a sneaker, but it's also not super thin. A lot of times you see in these more affordable sneakers a, a leather around one millimeter or just under one millimeter. Now we can take a look at the shell toe and as the cross section, and you can see that it overlaps with the cup sole and is glued as well as sidewall stitched all the way to the inside. And it's also glued to some reinforcement and the fabric lining on the inside as well. So it is, it's kind of interesting to see how this is structured. Um, at least for me, I don't know if it's that interesting to anyone else, but I think it's really interesting. Now to the pros and cons of the shoe. So starting with the pros, it's that classic iconic look that's been around for decades. It's hard to beat for a classic old school Adidas sneaker. Um, it's super comfortable. That's This is what makes it so comfortable, is that giant chunk of foam. And the leather is pretty good. It's a, it's a thick leather, it's a decent leather, and it's most of it is leather. Obviously there's a few parts that aren't, but for an $85 sneaker, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm actually really surprised. You know, because a lot of times I'll cut apart these big name brand shoes and they don't really live up to their price tag in my opinion, but this one, 
is, is pretty close. I, I would say this is money well spent. As for cons, the outsole is a little, a little bit thin, just like all the other Nikes and Adidas out there. I think they do that to save a little bit of money in production. Even though the leather is thick, it's, you know, it could be improved, but that, then again, you'd be raising the price of the shoe. If you want to get nitpicky, some of these parts aren't leather. You know, I'd like to see a leather tongue. It doesn't really matter, but I just like leather. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot of cons to, 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 to point at. You know, for $85, it's it's a pretty good deal. You know, a lot of times these bigger brands, they're iconic sneakers, they slowly increase the price and just hope that people don't care and they don't notice and they're willing to spend the money on the, the iconic sneaker, but these are still under a hundred bucks, which is pretty cool. I don't know, I don't really have much to complain about. I think they I think they do it well. I, every time I open a shoe, I, I, I find some new things that I think are really interesting, like the little cells on the inside here that they just are on the outside. I thought that was really interesting, so. Pretty cool video. Um, I'm really interested in seeing a, a vintage one cut apart. So if you're interested in that, be sure to let me know in the comments section. And thank you guys so much for watching these videos and all the support that you give me. Let me know what you think of this shoe and your experience with them. And thank you for everything you do. It means a lot to me. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And thank you guys. See ya.